The world's biggest SSD is going to fit into your system. Your pizza hands now have a matching controller. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one, and I also wasn't expecting this from AMD. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. This is your Reese host. We're going to be getting into the, the Reese's Pieces and hottest tech news today, July 25th, 2023, Tuesday. It's Tuesday. By the time you're watching this episode, we are on our way to LTX already. Actually, we're on our way to Micro Center to go pick up a PC that we're gonna put together and we're gonna give away at the end of LTX after Good we get stuff. it signed by everybody. So come join us on the stream. It's gonna be a ton of fun watching the stream is how you earn all the points and entries to win that PC. It's gonna be a lot of good stuff. We're gonna have a lot of good fun. We got some new faces that are gonna show mm -hmm. up on stream, some fans from around the years. I'm excited. I'm excited. Drive stream time. It's your first big one. Yeah, and it will be live by the time this goes out. And it's, this is the, not the first big one, but the biggest one, Solodime is announcing the world's largest, highest capacity PCI Express SSD. They want to stiff you full of tons of storage mm. coming up to 61.44 terabytes, something that we're not even seeing in singular drives on hard drives. And this is because they're going to be using QLC memory, which is not as good as far as longevity. It's going to run out a lot quicker, but it does allow you to get these crazy numbers like 62 roughly terabytes in a U.2 form factor or in the E1.L form factor, the long slotty boy, and you could get up to 31 terabytes in their E3.S form factor. I could fill that up easy. You think so? Yeah, just pictures of the green with, M &M with for Kyler. We have a special Kyler folder. Man, I don't think you're filling up 62 terabytes unless you have video. Yeah. Are you deep faking videos of the green m and Reese? What is going on? Anyways. <laughs> Solodime doesn't want you to access everything that quickly. This is not going to be the fastest drive by any means necessary. 7,000 megabytes per second read and about half of that when it comes to write performance, which is to be expected because it is a QLC drive. But it's something that's coming soon, probably based on guessing going to cost roughly four grand, which is yeah, it's you got to pay to be on the bleeding edge. But I got something for today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by ProtoArc. Now, a lot of you notice here on Hot News that I use a trackball mouse. It's ProtoArc's EM01. But today we're going to be talking about the upgrade, the EM03. This is for the people who truly want the most ergonomic experience, because compared to the EM01 that I use, it actually has a much larger trackball diameter coming in at 44 millimeters compared to the EM01's 34 millimeters, so it can be controlled more accurately. And you don't need to use your thumb, you use your index finger. So you don't have to move your arm, you don't have to move your wrist, you don't develop fatigue from that. You get to accurately and carefully move your cursor on your computer using your very dexterous index finger while using your middle finger for the right clicking and your thumb for the left clicking. The EM01 that I currently use has three different DPI levels of 1,000, 1,600, and 2,400. But ProtoArcs heard the response from the community that some people want a little less DPI. So there's five different modes on the EM03 going from 100, 200, 400, 800, and 1600 to meet the needs of the people who want that great customizability and the ability to accurately control what they're using their cursor for. And it has one of my favorite things that you find in most ProtoArc devices, and that is you can connect it up to three different devices. It has both a 2.4 gigahertz connection using the dongle as well as Bluetooth. So you can switch between your desktop, your laptop, your phone, other devices, what have you. If you use my link in the video description with coupon code UFD, you can save 10% on your purchase of the EM03. Get to enjoy a trackball mouse again. I used to use one a lot as a child and being back on the EM01, especially when it comes to office work, I really, really enjoy it. If you need it for ergonomic reasons, you don't wanna move your mouse around on your desk, check out the EM03 at the link in the video description. Again, big thanks to ProtoArc for sponsoring today's video. All right, Reese, I want you to imagine me slapping something onto your head. What is it? It's Apple. You got Apple on your face. I'm liking this less. People are going to now have Apple on their face because Vision OS dev kits have started to roll out to Ooh. developers. And there's a lot of rules surrounding it, like the fact that Apple has to uh, check in with you to make sure that you're using it properly. Okay. Uh, they can also recall it at any point. Daddy and, Apple is watching. And they want it returned when it's all said and done, which is something that they similarly did when it came to the M1 transition for their Mac minis. They sent out the dev kit so that people could port all of 
of their apps to M1 and they took them all back because they didn't pe want people to have the, the dev kits out in the wild. So it looks like it's gonna be a similar situation with the Vision Pro that they're gonna be wearing on their face so that people can develop the apps, but they, they don't want leaks. I hate a leaky Apple, I'll, I'll tell you that much. That. But you know what I can have? Deals. Catlin said no transitions. She's Catlin. She doesn't have enough time for them. Kyler's on vacation. Catlin's picking up the slack. She can't do cool transitions like this one. As deals, welcome back to UFT Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Starting with the Cooler Master MM711. With this 60 gram lightweight mouse with the whole hexagon pattern, it's going for only $24.99, which is $28 off. Lightweight mouse make you shoot faster, it's science. Well, they charge less for it because it has, it's, it's got no Yeah, that's stuff. the discount. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the joke of, do they charge less for jeans with holes in them? I've become thing. my parents. Yeah. And then next up, we have one of my favorites, the Elgato Wave Mic Arm LP, the low profile version fits under your monitors. I converted everyone else in the office to these things. I love them so much. We have three here for our streams here in the office, which you won't get to see because we're drive streaming. And you can currently pick one up for only $79.99, making it $20 off. Which I, I know it sounds like a lot, but you can't really find low profile mic arms like this. So there's it, nothing it's, quite like this. Yeah, it's a good deal. You're not going to get a super discount on any Elgato product. So you grab them when you can get them. And lastly, we have the Deepcool AS500 Plus white CPU air cooler going for only $54.99, making it $29 off. Keep your PC cool. Look good. At the same time, it's a good, good time for everyone. He's just grabbing them. <laughs> I, I forgot to finish. And now back to the rest of your hot news with this guy. But you know what today is? A very fortuitous day for me to be wearing this shirt. I have oh, Muppets on my Muppets shirt. Shirts. Yeah, we recently discovered that uh, by, by law, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, at least the original trilogy, there were Muppets. Yeah, Jim Henson was involved, therefore Muppets. That's it's how it works. Rules. Anyways, the rules are, now you gotta sniff your controllers. Because Xbox has got a new controller coming out, special edition, specifically for the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle film that's coming out. It's Mutant Mayhem! Mutant Mayhem, it looks like a knockoff of Into the Spider-Verse, but I kind of love that art style. And then, look at them, they're... You're supposed to sniff it! something! They're scented! You can win them. Is it like scratch and sniff kind of vibes or what's going on here? She don't look like she's doing much scratching. I don't know, do you guys like uh, smelling pizza smelling controllers or do you just like raw dog it with the pizza in one hand and the controller in the other? Did you say raw dogging in the context of eating pizza while gaming? Yeah. Got it. Uh, allegedly there's a scent diffuser strapped to the back of the controller shell. Uh, limited run, only four. So only four. Yeah, well, it's, There's it's only four turtles. It makes they're giving them away. But oh, then you can't complete the collection. So that pizza is actually strapped to the back of the controller. Oh, did you think that was like just part of the Photoshop? Yeah. Oh, you sweet summer child. And that's what I was saying to myself. I don't know why this segue. It doesn't work at all. Uh, AMD, words. <laughs> yeah, AMD has the 7900 GRE and we're getting a lot more details coming out about it. The Golden Rabbit Edition likely going to be a Chinese exclusive. Doesn't necessarily have to be, which is why we're talking about it right now because it could come out in the rest of the world. Anyways, this bad boy's essentially a 7900 XT. Gonna be now, as far as we know, launching on July 28th, which is Friday. It's a Friday. And you can see the difference here between the Sapphire GRE, which is currently on the screen, and their previous XT GPU. Not much is different. It's a little cut down, but as far as PCB, not a lot has changed. It's 300 watt TGP, so not a lot less power consumption. However, it has less VRAM and slower VRAM. So it's essentially the same in the gaming performance, but only 16 gigs of VRAM at 640 gigabytes per second, as opposed to 800 gigabytes per second, because it's on a 256 bit bus, which means this is worse, but it's not gold. If they charge $7.99 for it, that's too much because you can get a 7900 XT for like $6.99 sometimes, but it would line up in their MSRP situation. I don't know. Would you buy a GRE if it came out in the US or in the Western world, Europe, or I like anywhere special else? editions. Would you pay for a 16 gig version as long as it was cheaper than the regular XT? Let me know down below in the comments. And I didn't know that this was even in the pipeline. I got surprised with this news Bamboozle today. Even. It's not 100% confirmed, but there are details coming 
coming out about an X3D chip that should potentially be found in laptops. This is getting leaked by Asus showing off the Ryzen 9 7945HX3D with 128 megabytes mm -hmm. of L3 cache, putting it on par with the 7950X3D in general varieties. So this looks like it's going to be something that can rocket AMD to the top of the notebook division when it comes to high tier gaming notebooks, something that they have struggled to really compete with Intel on. Their 6000 series top of the line processors were not as robust as what we're seeing with their Dragon range right now. And if they come out with an X3D version of what what they currently have, I I mean, they're really efficient. Yeah. Having that in laptops makes so much sense because you lower how much power it needs to consume to give you that performance, which means you can use that cooling for the GPU and you might just have a better system overall. This is this is exciting stuff. AMD has not been super competitive in the mobile sector for a long time. And I, I just like seeing this ratchet up. X3D chips. I would, I would like to see an eight core version or even a six core version because you could get low power consumption for the the laptop side of things. That just, I like it. What took them so long? Probably engineering. It's just three letters. You just have to write them. You're on. right. Yeah. Let's discount all of the millions of hours of hard work that these very intelligent people put into designing this thing. Yeah. And just give us the, slap the letters on it. Elon did it. It took Elon like three hours to put an X on Twitter. It's not, it's not hard. It's great stuff. And you know what else is great stuff? Our drive stream over to LTX right now. Come join us. We'd love to have you there, especially as, I mean, right about when this episode goes live is when we're gonna be at Micro Center getting all the parts for the PC. So be part of, as far as I'm aware, the only people dumb enough to drive to LTX from across the country mm -hmm. as opposed to just flying. I get to see the country. That's mostly why I'm doing it is for this guy right here. Me. I love you. Why, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>